In this video, you will learn how to interpret the application of your Huawei inverter and solar production so that you can maximize your energy savings. Here you can see the production of your solar panels in real time. It is converted by the inverter and sent to the house to be used. All energy production will be used to supply the house. If the house has a very high consumption, it will be fed from the photovoltaic plant and the rest will be from the network at the price agreed with the supplier. If we are producing a lot and our home consumes little or nothing, the photovoltaic production will go to the grid and the supply company will buy that energy from us, which will be deducted from our electricity bill from what we have absorbed at night and when the photovoltaic plant does not have high performance. If you click here, you can access the statistics and look at the production curves. In this graph, we can see the consumption of the house in red and in green, the production of our photovoltaic plant. This green curve you see is typical of a completely sunny day. You can use the cursors to navigate between the different days and see the production of the day. Now we are going to click on expand to see the best statistics. Here we can see the maximum of our photovoltaic production. This is useful because if we see that it decreases significantly, it is because our solar panels are dirty, due to the haze of Lanzarote and the humidity of the morning accumulate layers of dirt. Let's try that the high consumption of our home is located inside the photovoltaic production area to make the most of our solar production and save more. This irregular pattern full of peaks in our chart means that it is a rainy or very cloudy day. In order to monitor our savings, we have to pay attention to these two parameters. In green, we have the energy exported from our photovoltaic plant to the network of our electricity company. And in red, we have the energy that we absorb from the network and we have to buy from the company. Because the purchase price to the supplier is higher than the one they pay us for each kilowatt that we inject into the grid from our photovoltaic plant, we must produce daily about twice what we buy from them if we want to pay zero euros. Click here to see our monthly statistics. Now our statistics are for the whole month, and so we can see by looking at the same two parameters if we are saving enough to reach our goal of zero network consumption. If you have more questions, please contact us and we will be happy to help you.